Hi, I'm Gareth and welcome to another video in our little series of how to use the Music Matters theme in a variety of styles. And you'll see there are other videos out there on the Music Matters channel that present the theme more obviously than we're going to see and hear it today in Baroque style, classical style, romantic style, various dance styles. We've even ventured into some Latin rhythm styles as well. What we're going to do with it here is to consider how we might use it in terms of using serialism. So serialism, S-E-R-I-A-L-I-S-M, nothing to do with the cereal that you might have for breakfast, but serialism, um, as you probably know, is something that was kind of put together by uh, Schoenberg and his two uh, disciples, as it were, Berg and Weber, all in response to the kind of tonal crisis that had come about at the end of the 19th century, beginning of the 20th century, when the whole system of major and minor keys had broken down. Along comes Schoenberg and says, let's just get this organised in some way that effectively gives equal rights to all 12 semitones of the scale. So C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B. So all those 12 notes have equal rights. And the way he went about this um, was in a very organized way by saying, well, we've got these 12 semitones and we can organize them in any way that we want to and put together what's called a note row or a tone row. So that's what this is, where it says O, oh, that's original. And here I've taken those 12 notes and put them in an order of my choice. That's what the composer decides to do and says, I've got each one of those 12 semitones of the scale just sounding once within this note row. Now, what's this got to do with the Music Matters theme, you might well be asking. Well, I've done the best I can to take a sketch of the Music Matters theme. Now, you remember the Music Matters theme goes... It's got lots of notes that are repeated, and of course, it's in a major key, so it's not going to convert to serialism very easily. But the first three notes are G, F sharp, so that's the first two notes here. It comes back to G, so I can't come back to G because I've already had it. The next note is B flat, so I've got that there. The next note is A flat. The next note is G, but I've already had that. Then it comes back to A flat, I've already had that. So the next note is C. So you can see what I've done. I've taken each note of the Music Matters theme and I've left out all references to repetitions of earlier notes. So we end up with a note row, as it's called, that sounds little like the original Music Matters theme, but I hope you can see my endeavour to capture the original theme in the note row. So we've got a note row that goes like this. And the idea is once you've got your note row together, you can use it in its original form. You can also use it in retrograde. In other words, you can do it backwards, which is what this is here. So you see where I've got R for retrograde. R is the original thing backwards. So you see the last note of this is the first note of this, the penultimate note of this is the second note of that, and so on. Okay, so you can use this note row in its original form, or in retrograde, you can use it backwards. Or, if we switch to the green version, you can use it in inversion. And what this means is you take all the intervals of the original row, and you invert the interval. So, in other words, here it starts on G and it goes down a minor second. So here I'm starting on G and I'm going up a minor second. So you take each of these intervals in turn and you think if it's going up a major third, I'm going to go down a major third. If it's going up a perfect fourth, I'm going to go down a perfect fourth. So, so this is the inversion of the original row. And then you can also do retrograde inversion. So that's backwards and upside down. So that's what the red version is. Now the idea then is that you write your piece using original, retrograde, inversion, and retrograde inversion in any way that you want to, in any combination, but you don't use notes that are outside of that. 
Of course, as serialism progressed, well, some composers became more strict with it, some became less strict with it. But at the moment, we're going to sort of work on the original Schoenberg principle. So you don't have any note that doesn't belong to one of these. You can transpose these, any four of these, any way you want to. So you could do that. But basically, you're using these four versions. So I've written this short piece in serial form in which you can see what's going on. So the right hand begins with the original row. You can see you can do anything you like with it rhythmically. And then in the second half of the piece, the right hand uses retrograde inversion. And I've tried to show here as well that you can use it to write melodically, you know, one note after another, or you can use it harmonically by writing some chords like I have done there. And in the left hand, I've started here in retrograde, so that takes us all the way through to the midpoint, and then the left hand switches into inversion. And you notice most of the inversion is melodic, but there's one chord sitting in the middle of it. So this is the style of serialism. So when you listen to this, you're going to think, what on earth has this got to do with the Music Matters theme? Because you can see what I've had to do to it to eliminate any notes that come round a second or a third time. And also, of course, we've got to switch from a tonal world to an atonal world. So it's as much a demonstration of serialism as it is a presentation of the Music Matters theme. But have a look at the end result. I know serialism is not to everybody's taste. Some people find it far too dissonant, but at least it's very well organized and it's an interesting compositional technique to tune into. So I hope it's useful for composers wanting to explore a little bit of serialism. Okay, what does this sound like? Well, this is how it goes. So there we have it. Music Matters theme, serial style.